Hi friends, in this session I am going to show how to handle exceptions for web client. Uh, using web client if you have called any endpoint, if you got uh, exception, how we have to handle. So in my previous session in the employee router class we have created one endpoint for the ex uh, throwing exception. So in this employee error we are throwing new runtime exception and we are sending us a message instead of uh, throwable error message. So now I'm in this uh, session I'm going to handle this exception in my web client. So now I'm going to create one more endpoint. I'll check what this handler method returns. It's returns mono servers. Okay. So now I'm going to create one more uh, endpoint. It's a get mapping. I'm giving uh, path as uh, slash error because it is error uh, we are going to get error and response so I'm giving method uh, it's a public method returns mono employee and the name as method name I'm giving as get employee by error and I'm not passing any path variables or request param so now I'm going to call my uh, web client to hit that endpoint so I have client dot this is a get endpoint so I'm going to call get return or client dot get and I need to give the URI URI is slash emp slash error and I'm going to expect uh, application JSON media type so media type is application JSON and in this example I am going to use retrieve method so retrieve method has uh, on status method uh, which has a predicate and the uh, error response throwable error so I am going to call show on status see on status has predicate method and mono that throwable it so I am going to use this on status so HTTP status has this uh, predicate methods is 5 access I need to add import for this HTTP status HTTP status has predicate method like is is it uh, 1x series informational or 2x or 3x 4x or 5x if uh, we know we are going to uh, get 500 from this am employees slash emp slash error endpoint so i'm going to call this emp error so on status method of is 500 returns me true so now i have to handle this exception and i have to throw mono of type throwable so I'll be having uh, access to the entire client response object. So first I'll get uh, my error bo a message mono string error message. It's there as part of client body client response dot body to mono of type string so I'll be able to get my error response like whatever the error message I have written over there I will be getting in this error message because it is mono and we have to throw a mono of type throwable what I'm going to do I'm going to do flat map on this error map so that I'll get access to the actual object flat map flat map so I'm going to get actual ob uh, message object so I'm going to just log that message and then I'm going to throw so I'm using system.out to log normally in project we have to use logger 
so I'm just using system dot out to print that log message print an error message so now I'm going to throw new runtime exception I'm passing the message whatever I got from my uh, actual call so I'm going to return this this method expects of type mono employee but we are throwing mono throwable that's why it is uh, showing compilation issue now I have to use we have body to mono method in the retrieve so I can directly call body to mono and I can pass employee type see when I add this body to mono employee my compilation issue is gone so if it is success it will go to this body to mono method if it is having 500 error uh, it will go to this on status example if I'm going to expect I'm going to get uh, 500, uh, 400 series error I can again add one more on status here I can use HTTP status is it 500 is it 4x series client error again I will be having access to my entire client object what I am doing I am going to return my client response dot body to mono this time it, it is of type throw if I have not handled that exception in my service class I will be get a type of throwable message so I am going to use throwable class so if any 500 ex exception comes I am directly throwing that, that message so if any 400 client error comes I am just throwing that if it is 500 I am taking that message I am logging and I am re-throwing so let's save this and start the application this is my client let me start the server so I have to start my webflux also so my application is started my client is started in port 8085 so I'll go to postman it's client slash error I'll hit this so I got 500 internal server so the error message is internal error and the message whatever we got from the our actual call we are printing that if I come here I can able to see my log message error messages exception occurred here also I'll add one logger I'll just add system dot out dot println it's going to return this 400s 4xx error occurred it's for not dollar I'll save this and I'll restart my server now what I did is I started only my flux client I didn't start my actual uh, uh, endpoint server so now we will be getting not found so when I hit postman oh 
Oh, this is again throwing internal server connection refuse to localhost 8080. In case from um, the application, if we are throwing any not found or anything, that time we will be able to uh, get this 400 error. This is how we will handle uh, exceptions on retrieve by using on status or we have one more method called on raw status that will be having the hint uh, HTTP status code instead of act, uh, enum HTTP status we will be having access to int status and there also we can handle. Uh, I will show how to handle for uh, exchange method. So I am going to create one more endpoint get mapping. I am giving the URL as slash exchange slash error. So it returns public mono employee. Get employee underscore error. So I am going to use my uh, client.get URI same endpoint but I am going to use exchange instead of retrieve. So I am copying this code from here. I am going to paste it here. So here I am going to call exchange. Exchange method we will be having direct access to the client response. In the retrieve uh, we will be only having the access to the body or, or we have to use on status but here will be having uh, access to the entire uh, client response so I can directly use flat map I am going to iterate this my response so it's my client response so first time checking whether my status code is 500 or 400 or success if it is 500 I am going to throw uh, I am going to catch that message and then I am rethrowing so client dot response dot get status we have uh, get status code it returns HTTP status and if it is 500 server error I am going to throw the same way like uh, whatever I did for my retrieve method same thing I am going to do so I am just copying and pasting It's saying we are expecting of type mono employee but you are not returning that so what I am doing if if it is not 400 500 error I am just returning the body return client response dot body to mono of type we are expecting like it's employee type So I'll save this and I'll start my I restart my server. See uh, my server is started and I'll check my client server is started or not. So it started in port 88. So the endpoint is slash exchange slash error. I am going to copy this and going to hit. So this time also uh, the message whatever we have thrown in the uh, actual call. If I go and hit in this localhost employee error, we are going to get exception occur. So we are sending same message here. I come to my eclipse so we are taking that message and we are just throwing it the difference for uh, retrieve and exchange is 
in case of retrieve uh, we will not be having access to the entire client response that's why we have to use on status method to check whether it is uh, 500 or 400 series what it is but in case of exchange we will be having access to the entire client response so i can just do the flat map on that response and i can uh, do whatever i want thank you friend if you like my video please subscribe to it